additional na uh, feeding distance uh, for our risers. Okay? So, if we look at this, for plates, um, for plates, ang chills natin will add an additional 2 inches based, and again, this is based on NR experiments. If we add a chill to the edge, then you are effectively adding 2 inches doon sa maximum feeding distance. Tapos kung um, if you add a chill in between, so again, this is in between two risers, the chill will act as a cold wall. So it's a safe meron time cold wall dito. So if this is a cold wall, then therefore meron siyang edge contribution siya. So kumbaga may pseudo edge contribution siya dito. So that's why uh, dito, um, you'll notice na 4.5T siya. Kasi 2T from the riser contribution plus uh, 2.5 T from the pseudo edge produced by the chill. Okay, so kaya siya 4.5 T plus another 2 inches kasi chills inherently provide uh, around 2 inches of extra feeding distance. Okay, so ang total niya, if you add a riser to riser distance from the original, diba, ang riser to riser distance for plates is just 4 T. Tama? For kung walang chill sayo, riser to riser distance for uh for plates is just 2t riser contribution times 2 which is 40. Pero this time because of the chill, just the addition of the chill no um produces a riser to riser distance of 90 plus 4 inches. So sobrang laki ng difference, ba? Just by adding chills. Tapos four bars, uh, if it's an edge, uh uh, if it's an edge na, na contribution or yung edge natin magbibigay siya ng instead of 2 inches flat bibigay siya ng contribution equal to the thickness of the uh, of the of the section so yung maximum distance ng uh, riser to edge was 6 square root of t dadagdagan natin ng plus uh, t okay tapos for yung riser to riser contribution it was um, it was arranged now depending on the thickness. Uh, pero this time, since we added chills, nagakaroon siya ng again a pseudo uh, uh, cold wall, and therefore merong pseudo edge contribution siya. So parang it's as if ano na to, riser to edge from this point, tapos riser to edge from this point. So parang siyang two times dito sa sa etong illustration sa fast no? six square root of t plus t. You multiply that by two, then you have twelve square root of t plus 2t. Okay, so again, uh, sobrang useful na chills, no? And in most cases, kaya mas appropriate na mag, you think about chills first before doing multiple riser designs. If, uh, that is, of course, if the system allows um, addition of chills, no? Kasi there are certain systems where hindi pwedeng magdagdag ng chills. Kunwari, if it's a permanent die casting, kunwari, hindi ka naman pwede magdagdag ng uh, chills, no? no? Kasi made of metal naman na yung mold wall mo. Okay, so think about chills first before doing multiple riser uh, designs. Lastly, yung complex na sections. So if we have sections na varying yung thickness niya, and then mag-iiba yung magiging calculation ng feeding distances natin. This is because, again, yung na-mention ko earlier na ang isang heavy na plate can effectively feed a lighter plate attached to the attached to that heavy plate. So thereby we increase the overall feeding distance now. So uh, this uh, complex sections na to is specifically for plates lang no. And um, ang notation dito is H stands for heavy, L is for light, while me M is for medium. So if you have something that looks like this, then uh, yung feeding distance, if this is your side riser, the feeding distance from the riser to the heavy section is equal to um, is equal to three times the thickness of the heavy section minus uh, the thickness of the uh, light section plus 4.5 inches. Tapos, while the distance of the light section, uh, yung feeding distance, 
of the light section is just equal to the uh, three is equal to three point five times the thickness of the uh, heavy section. Okay. So your overall feeding distance nito is equal to uh, the overall feeding distance of the riser is equal to um, the heavy distance plus the light distance. So yun yung magiging overall distance na. Okay? So if we have, for example, a three section na, na type of design wherein meron tayong intermediate na a section of uh, medium thickness, then we have uh, the heavy, the medium, and the light. The light is equal to, again, 3.5 ng medium naman because it is the one feeding it. 3.5 times the thickness of the medium. Tapos yung distance ng medium is uh, 3.5 times the heavy minus the thickness of the light. Tapos lastly, yung heavy section natin is just 3 times, uh, it's equal to the thickness of the heavy section minus thickness of the light section plus 4.5 inches. And if you want to know the total uh, distance na kayang i-feed ng ano, oh, sorry. So if you want to know the total distance na kayang i-feed ng ano, ng um, riser na to is equal to dh plus dm plus dn. Okay? So, uh, we'll try this sample problem now. So, we are to determine the location of the riser uh, necessary to produce a sound casting if we have, if you are given a 30 by 15 by 3.5 inch cubic inch plate. Okay? And, ooh, Kunwari lang, nag-calculate na, nag tayo and we know that we produced, uh, we are required a 10-inch riser. And 10-inch here meaning, uh, if it's not given, no? um, usually kasi when we, when dimension, uh, when you are given a dimension for a, a cylinder or, or, a, or a sphere, tapos walang pinigay na, na kung diameter ba siya or riser, we always mean the riser no similar to yung kunwari naalala yung rolls sa ano sa sa rolling calculations kung walang binigay na uh, kung riser diameter yon you always assume na diameter yung ibig niya sabihin so dito this is a 10 inch riser therefore big sabihin nito is 10 inch yung diameter ng riser okay so ito yung top view natin so intuition would tell you again to place the riser uh, uh, above the ano uh, the or at the center of the plate para maximum feeding tayo no? and since this is a plate no okay lang na ilagay natin siya sa top riser so um edge contribution for plates and this is uh, although it is stated na plate siya no pero we can actually calculate if if indeed plate nga siya so again yung calculation lang naman ng plate is um it's equal to I divide nyo lang yung width by the thickness and if it's greater than 3, then it's a plate. So dito, 15 divided by 3.5 is around 4 something, 4 point something, no? So, tama ba? 4, 2. Ah, 4, exactly 4. Tama? 12 plus 2. And it, 4 point something, sorry. So it's around 4 point something, therefore it's greater than 3, then there, eto, this is, um, this is uh, of plate geometry. So kahit hindi ko nilagay itong plate geometry na ito, pwede nyo pa rin ma-determine. Okay? So this is a plate. Therefore, yung four plates, ang edge contribution is a flat 2.5T, while the riser contribution is a flat 2T. Okay? So the thickness is equal to 3.5. Therefore, 2.5 times 3.5 is 8.75. The riser contribution is 2 times 3.5 uh, is equal to 7. So, pwede natin i-plot yung, ano no, yung, um, this is the easiest way to do it, no? to do an illustration, tapos tingnan nyo yung different na contribution. So, you can set the riser at the middle with 10 inch na, 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 uh, or na 5 inches yung radius niya, and place it at the center. Tapos from the edge, measure kayo na, ng mga edge contributions, kumari ito, 8.75 from this edge to this one. 8.75 from this edge to this one, 8.75, 8.75. And when you do this 
uh, graphical na uh, analysis no you'll notice na wala tayong shrinkage o wala tayong area na hindi covered sa hindi covered ng ng edge contributions and riser contributions natin so that is saying na meron tayong full coverage so therefore kung full coverage tayo we uh, we can produce a sound casting okay so um you can do this and again this is my preferred method no kasi mas visual siya mas madaling ma ma easy but we can also do uh, another way of solving this is just looking at the maximum distances no so we compare the maximum feeding distance of our riser uh, that is the maximum feeding distance is a since it's a single riser riser to edge yung maximum feeding distance niya and we compare it with the maximum required distance ng casting natin. So if you look at it, uh, yung largest distance for this casting is actually the diagonal. No? So if you look at it, ito yung, itong part na to, ito yung largest distance niya. Okay, so then we, if you look at uh, the since symmetrical lamang ginawa natin, we can look at one half of it. So pwedeng ito yung tilingan natin. Tama? If you look at it, yung distance na to is just equal to the um, diagonal which is ang ano natin uh, it's 15 yung 15 yung width, 30 yung length. Therefore, square root of 15 squared plus 30 squared uh, is your diagonal. And if you divide it by 2, then we get this half distance right here. Tama? And since our riser is uh, 10 inches, so yung ra radius now is 5. So if we subtract that 5, that is the maximum required distance. So from so, so again, yung ano kasi natin is we measure the feeding distance from the edge of the riser. Tama? So we measure it from this one. So hindi natin siya i-measure from the center of the riser. Okay? So from this distance to this distance is equal to 11.77. So again, that's just equal to 15 squared plus 30 squared, square root non, divided by 2, minus the radius of the uh, riser, which will give us 11.77. Okay? And we compare this 11.77 with the maximum feeding distance ng uh, riser natin. And the maximum feeding distance is just equal to edge contribution plus riser contribution, which should give us 8.75 plus 7, which is 15.75. No? And this is well uh, above yung 11.77. So the single riser will be enough to produce the sound casting. And the, the, and the reason why this works, no? kasi if you think about it, if abot niya, if yung riser na to, kaya niyang i-feed yung largest distance, then sure, it, it then surely kaya niyang ma-feed yung smaller distances. Tama no? That makes a logical sense. So kaya pwede rin ganito yung approach nyo. So uh, lalo na pagka simple lang yung, yung geometry ng, ano, no? ng, ng design, kunwari parang ganito rectangular prism lang siya, mas madaling ma-imagine yung maximum distance niya. Pero for, for cases na kunwari medyo complicated yung ano, hindi nyo readily nakikita kung alin yung maximum feeding distance, then you might want to look into uh, the graphical approach no, where you uh, look at something like this. Okay? Um, siguro uh, something to think about, what if ang ginawa natin is a side riser as opposed to a plate? So pwede ang mangyayari is, ganito no, if this was the plate, Ganina, this was 15, 30. Pwede ilagay natin yung riser dito. And we can assume na kunwari minimal lang yung distance ng connection na to. So we can just assume na ito yung, ito yung maximum feeding distance na. Ito yung maximum distance. Tama? This is the largest distance. So this is the maximum required distance. Tapos pwede mo i-compare yun. So your maximum required distance, compare nyo with the maximum feeding distance and try to check if mas malaki ba tong maximum feeding. If it's larger, then it can have full coverage. If it's not, then you'll have to think about, I don't know. But this uh, becomes more complicated to compute nyo as, op as opposed to, uh, this is uh, again the second way of approaching this. For pwede ring ang approach natin is, we do a graphical approach no, wherein where we can do something like riser contribution. Cover that in riser contribution. Ito. Then we have an edge contribution. Sir, hindi po atakita yung drawing. 
Ay, sorry, hindi pala kita. Thank you. Uh, eto, sorry. So this is a riser, I don't know, contrib uh, right, uh, side riser setup, which is yung earlier, and I'll, again, I'll just do it now. So again, ang, ang pwede natin gawin is, kung side riser siya, pwede ganito yung setup, tapos, uh, pwede mo assume lang natin na minimal yung connection na to, so yung maximum required distance is just this distance to this distance, or this distance to this distance. Okay? So, and we compare if the maximum required distance is greater than or equal to the uh, maximum feeding distance. If it's greater than the maximum feeding distance, then hindi sapat yung uh, ganitong riser para i-feed yung buong ano no. So, uh, yun yung, yung second option na ginawa natin, yung non-graphical approach. Tapos yung first option is pwede rin graphical yung approach natin. No? So, gawin natin is compute natin yung riser contribution. Para ganyan. Tapos compute natin yung edge contributions. May edge side dito. May edge dyan. May edge dyan. Tapos may edge dito. So, tingnan natin kung merong, uh, merong, kunwari lang ito yung, na graphical approach natin as ito yung nakita natin na ano no riser contributions edge contributions etc then we can be uh, we can say na yung most likely uh, areas where we have shrinkage is this area no kasi hindi siya covered and just to make it interesting gawin ko na lang na larger yung ano no kunwari lang uh, large yung riser contribution natin if we have a riser contribution like this, para ganyan, para ganito, ito yung magiging shrinkage na. And by the way, kung nag ES1 kayo last sem, isa actually ito sa lumabas na yung geometry problem na binigay ko sa ES1. Actually, uh, binase ko yun dito sa ano no, sa casting design. So, yun. Guess yun na kung saan siya galing. Okay. Pero ba nag ES1 last time? Uh, last time? So, no first year po, hindi ginawa ng exam. Ah, okay. So, na nakita nyo na yung type of problem na ito, no? Maraming hindi yata nakakuha na. Anyway, so, ito yung ano no, yung kung paano i-compute. It's more of it's not actually uh, um, determining the optimum riser location, pero more of parang determining if a riser location can sufficiently feed uh, the entire casting. Okay? So, my questions ba? Um, I, I'm not sure kung if you would find this easier than, I don't know, uh, the volume of the riser calculations, in riser volume calculations. Pero in in most cases, yung nakikita ko na no, in sa history ng ano na nag e one four seven or in your case one seven seven. Ah, mas nahirapan sila dito sa feeding distance as opposed to yung volume calculations. So, tingin nyo, uh, what are your thoughts on this? Ano yung mas madaling makalculate? Yung volume ng riser or itong parang feeding distances? Based on uh, the lesson we have today. Volume? Ah, harder yung volume, Rebo, or easier? Mas madali. Ah, okay. So, same kayo ng ano, reaction. Uh, what about the others? Ano yung tingin nyo? Si Rikyal, opposite naman, parang feel niya mas madali ito. No? Parang calculations-wise, oh, based on the formulas na ginagamit, no, mukhang mas madali itong feeding distances. Uh, siguro, kaya siguro nahihirapan yung mga previous batches is because um, mahirap i-imagine kung hindi mo siya i-drawing. No? So, kunwari, paano mo malalaman kung side riser yung kailangan or paano malalaman kung top riser yung kailangan. Tapos kung top riser, uh, necessary bag git na siya. Paano pag hindi symmetrical? Saan natin ilalagay yung riser? Parang yun yung mga siguro nag, 
papa complicate sa sa maximum feeding distance. Okay, so uh, based on the lesson, meron bang malabo or uh, we have a, a few minutes so meron pa tayong mga 20 minutes. May, meron kayong mga specific questions? I-papaprolong ko lang yung awkward silence no, para magtanong kayo. Ano yun, Ivan? Anong examples? Yung pag-draw, yung ano? Yung pag-compute natin? Yung ba yung sinasabi mo? Ah, na record ko naman. Yung hindi ko na record na part is yung initial discussion on the edge contributions and riser contributions. Pero na record naman to. Okay, thank you. So, uh, siguro al Maybe I can provide more examples, no? Hanap ako sa, ano ko, mga, sa old records ko, tapos provide ako more examples para mas may imagine nyo ko ano yung other scenarios to compute for maximum feeding distances. Tapos yung worksheet, ibibigay ko later. And, um, due siya, ah, yung inisip ko nga, isabay ko na lang i-due sa, ano eh, sa, sa, ano tawag dito, yung gating design para isang pasahan na lang. Pero, uh, I'll just post it later. No? Kung ano yung magiging final niya. Pero, um, ano bang experience ng mga, ikaw one, uh, based on your experience, ano yung mas madali? Yung metal, uh, yung deformation processing or itong foundry science? Which is easier to, ah, wala, wala pala si one. Ah, uh, wala kasi si Juan, no? Hindi ko kasi sigurado kung... Pero, in your experience, guys, dun sa deformation processing, ah, uh, okay naman yung calculations nyo doon. Medyo nasusundan nyo naman siya. Hindi naman kayo nahirapan. input lang sa equations. Mm -hmm. That's true. Pero yung equations, although complicated yung equations, no? lalo na pag uh, eh, pinakita yung full derivation kung paano na kuha yung equations, medyo mahirap siya. Pero um, if you know the parameters, parang madali na lang siya gamitin. No? Generally, mukhang mas madali yung gamitin yung equations dito sa casting. Ang ano lang is maraming uh, Ang, ang best description ko siguro sa kanya is mas malaki yung wiggle room sa casting design. Kung baga, mas maraming options, alternatives to, kung meron tayong isang problem, maraming alternatives to solving that problem. So, doon siguro uh, naging mahirap no? when we have options, parang mas mahirap pumili ng parang most efficient path. Parang. So I think uh, no 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 tama na yung awkward silences <laughs> para siguro na ring end yung session today. If you have more questions, pwede siguro i-contact niyo na lang ako or just ask your questions sa ano no sa ano natin. Sa dito sa Google Classroom. Okay, so thank you for the five people na a uh, four four lang lang for the four people na nandito ngayon. Geneva, shout out kay Geneva, Rickel, Ibana at uh, Rebo. For coming today. Okay, so I'll see you all uh, next week na when we discuss gating design. <laughs> okay, thank you guys.